Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to today's um, webinar with myself, Gavin Holmes, and sponsored by Trade Guider, um, Trade to Win, and Active Trades. It's it's entitled, in, interestingly enough, and, and I've run many businesses in my 57 years on this planet. Fail to plan, plan to fail. Um, today I'm going to share with you my trading plan and you can all download it. You'll all get a copy of it. Okay, so don't worry about when I'm showing you, you say, well, can I get a copy of it? Now, when you have a trading plan, um, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It, it's a strategy document. And I just did a webinar yesterday with or listened to a webinar with Tiru Nagapan, a, a good friend of mine, who also talked about the same thing. In order to succeed in life, you, you need some sort of plan. We know that. Now, I'm the author of uh, Trading in the Shadow of the Smart Money, which many of you are, are, already know. Uh, I'm the head trader at Wyckoff Williams Investments, Gibraltar Limited, um, which is a, um, a an asset management division. It's a private asset, asset management division, but it's going public in, in March. And um, if you've got questions, because some people you know, will have questions at the end of this, especially with the trading plan, then make a note of these email addresses. I'll put them up at the end as well. But um, my wife is Laura at tradeguider.com. Okay, and my business partner's daughter is Mary B at tradeguider.com. And both of those um, ladies can help you very much in, in any questions that you've got. Now, as I move forward, I didn't start my life as a financial expert. In fact, I've been watching some programs actually on Discovery Plus about people who started in, in in the financial industry, and many of them didn't start in the financial industry. They got into it. I started my life as a police officer. Um, I was injured on duty, and, and I had to leave the police. But it did teach me something. It taught me about the rules and the discipline. And so I was very blessed and very lucky and very, very grateful to have met this guy, Tom George Williams, who's now passed away, unfortunately. Um, he, he, I was with him when he passed, 2016. And, and that's me, Gavin Holmes, and I'll tell you a little bit about myself because a lot of you are new. I can see a lot of new people here that, that probably never been to one of these webinars. Uh, I do seminars all over the world. I'm, I'm going to be going to the US. I'm going to Saudi Arabia in the next few few weeks um, or months. I don't know exactly the dates. Um, then I'm going to Singapore. I'm going to go to Malaysia and then to other, um, probably Australia is my next venue in, in July. But but I do, I do these live events. Uh, and the most important part is I teach the truth about what the financial markets are. And I've written two books, you know, and everyone's going to say, where's your third? But it, it takes time because I keep learning. I keep getting information, which is fine. But my first book was called Trading in the Shadow of the Smart Money. It's available on Amazon.com, Amazon.co.uk, Amazon.eu, whatever. It, it's available and it's published on Amazon. It's self-published. I don't deliberately didn't have a publisher in 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 the US or the UK, but in Spain and other areas, I've got publishers who who um, who sell the book in their in those relative languages, including uh, my colleague in Saudi Arabia. Um, we've got two two guys in Saudi Arabia that that work with us. Um, I think uh, you know Mustafa and Ahmed. They're great guys, right? So so they they've converted it into um, into Arabic. Some of you will will, will already have got that book but what, what what is it all about okay the question i would start with though is because i'm trading right so i'm, I'm going to talk about a trading plan but i'm actually trading i do want to read this very important disclaimer as uh, as we're regulated and so is obviously active active trades trading futures options on futures and retail off exchange foreign currency transactions known as forex and cryptocurrencies it does involve substantial risk of loss and it's not suitable for all investors. Past performance, whether actual or indicated by historical test of strategies, is no guarantee of future performance or success. There's a possibility that you may sustain a loss equal to or greater than your entire investment, regardless of which asset class you're trading, including equities, options, futures, forex, and cryptocurrencies. Therefore, you should not invest or risk money 
that you cannot afford to lose. Right. When I get into this trading plan, I want to start with why I wrote a book, because I'm not a natural author. OK, I, 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 f I found it the most difficult thing to write that first book. And the third book is even more difficult. We've all heard the analogy of that writer's block and all of this stuff. Forget that. What my master taught me, which was my mentor, Tom Williams, was he said to me as he was teaching me, he said, you're, you're a good trader. And you're a very disciplined trader. You have to write a book <laughs> about volume spread analysis, which is what we're going to talk about today which is a methodology that's been around for many, many years. I mean, we're talking over 100 years. I'm sitting here in my trading office in the New Forest National Park, beautiful area of the south coast of England. And I've got sitting next to me all of these books called the Magazine of Wall Street. Now, the knowledge from those magazines, as they called them then, but I would say they're more journals but their magazines are absolutely stunning because what information was imparted to us over a hundred years ago by the great trader and the master Richard Demille Wyckoff who we'll talk about is incredible but what I'm going to talk about today is a trading plan based around how to follow smart money now I've used this slide and actually the reason I've I, I picked it was because I did a road show several actually with, with, sponsored by active trades all around the country in, in the United Kingdom and I talked about smart money what I want to teach you today is how to understand what the smart money do I want you to, to understand that the book trading in the shadow of the smart money means exactly that some people on this planet are very very smart and they make money some people on this planet are very very dumb and they make horrible decisions in the markets especially but and in other parts of their life but what i'm going to show you today is a trading method that apparently according to business insider magazine this was oh many years ago now i think it was 10 years ago this was written they don't want you to know about what are you talking about it says the secret trading strategy from the 1930s that the hedge funds don't, or funders, as they call me, don't want you to know about. Well, I, hold on, I'm running one. Why am, I t why am I telling you this? I'll explain. One of the things that happened to me when I first met Tom Williams, and then he said, initially, would you want to be, uh, you know, come in and, and, and do the marketing for, 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 for the company? It was called Genie Software at the time. Some of you will know that. And then it transpired. He said, look, I'm losing my eyesight. I've got macular degeneration. Do you want to buy the company, the volume spread analysis methodology and take it forward? Now, I was not in that industry. It was a life changing moment, as you're about to see with the trading plan. Now, has it had its ups and downs? Sure. You, you, you know, I just listened to a, a famous footballer, a guy called Michael Owen. Some of you will know he used to play for Liverpool. And it was one of the most inspiring interviews I've ever seen. Because his son, who's 17, is losing his eyesight and wanted to be a famous footballer like his dad. And as I'm talking about my trading plan, which I'll do today, I listened to Michael Owen talk about his son and how he would swap because his, his son's losing his eyesight, right? We don't know how lucky we are to have our health sometimes. And that's going to be in the trading plan I'm about to show you. But everything that we talk about when it comes to money and finance and, 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 and making money, tends to be about oh we need money but as you're about to see there's more to it and my plan works hedge fund managers still swear by this method that i'm going to show you okay and i'm not 
taking any questions at the moment because I want to focus on this. It says here, I've highlighted it, and this is a, based around the Wyckoff method. In his 1931 book, which is when it was written, yeah, he's written several, and, and under pseudonyms as well, uh, you know, a Rollo tape was Wyckoff, okay? So this was uh, published, but he didn't, he, he was worried that he was publishing stuff that was, you know, anti-establishment at the time, but it's not. The Richard D. Wyckoff method of trading and investing in stocks, a course of instruction in stock market science and technique. It's out of print, somewhat difficult to find these days, which I've got a copy here. Not impossible. But even when this was written in 2013, so 10 years ago, or nearly 11 years ago, hedge fund managers still swear by it. OK, so you should be able to all see and I'll just double check. You should all be able to see a Word document that I've just put up here. And everyone can see it, I'm assuming. So just confirm that you can all see this Word document. OK, it's a Word document. OK, it, it's going to be shared with you as a PDF, but I'm, I'm using the Word document to make it easy because. Yep. OK, good. All right. OK, so. This is what I'm sharing with you today. It's knowledge. OK, knowledge is power. That's it. If you have knowledge. And you absorb knowledge. And you're taught to do something. Then you're empowered as an individual. To have a successful life. That doesn't mean there are people out there that have no knowledge. There are many people out there that don't have knowledge of many things. I've been, I'm 57, I've been very blessed. I've met thousands of traders. I've done multiple seminars. I, I, I just counted them. I think it's 682 live events that I've done in 24 years. So I've met a lot of people and I can see straight away what makes successful people work and what makes losers my vision and my purpose is is written in this document and on uh, and tom williams and myself wrote this together when i'd written my book and he said tom didn't have a written trading plan until i wrote it but this is how i teach people this is how I'm, I, I, I've am i changed people's lives, which I'm very blessed to, to, to have that knowledge to do it. But without Tom, that wouldn't have happened. So this is the trading plan that you're all going to get a copy of. You can all get a copy of this, right? So don't worry about this. You, you'll get a, a written copy. And there's going to be some additional stuff that we'll, we'll, we're going to send you as well. But the first thing I, I realized when I was writing a trading plan is what is a life plan, <laughs> right? Because because a trading plan is, well, you're just going to trade to make money, right? But then you've got to think of the bigger picture. And there is a bigger picture. And once you start to feel the bigger picture around you, you start to get success. It doesn't happen easily. I will tell you this. It's a bit like... I've got a local golf course just down the road from me here in, 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 in the New Forest. And I want to try and play golf again. Because I used to be really rubbish at it. And I've actually found out I'm still rubbish. So that's good because <laughs> I know what I'm not good at. I'm a good trader, but I'm not very good at golf. But I've got a teacher now and, and, and you know, it's, it costs money. And, and, you know, he said, well, you know, what, what are you expecting? I said, well, I'd like to be scratch, you know. He, Maybe what two weeks, three weeks, four weeks? I don't know what. What? And he just laughed. He said, "What about five years, ten years, or never?" <laughs> that, that was a reality. Because if you want to be a scratch golfer, you've got to be out there every day, eight hours, ten hours a day, and you've got to be practicing. Trading people think, "Oh, I tell you what, I've gone online. I've seen this video on YouTube. 
I can just click that button. <laughs> I can make millions. I've, I, I talked to a guy yesterday and I, I, I it was it was a sad conversation because he had spent a lot of money with certain people, uh, which will remain nameless, lost a lot of it. And he didn't have any trading plan. I said, well, come to the webinar. I think he, I think you're in here. But anyway, the first thing I said to him was, well, look, let's talk about purpose. There's a great book called The Purpose Driven Life, which I read years ago when I was in America. I lived in Chicago for 12 years. And I've said here, purpose, what, what, what does that mean? Well, my purpose is to empower my fellow traders and investors, which is my business, with the knowledge, belief and confidence instilled in me by the master, Tom Williams. I want all who connect with me to be consistently profitable in the market, to be happy and to help others and know the truth about the markets, the herd and the smart money. And then I've put a few bullet points here. And Tom and I talked about it. You get paid to be patient, which I'm not, by the way, but I've learned it. Believe you, you'll receive. You've just got to believe. We don't receive wisdom. We must discover it for ourselves. Hence the reason you're here. After a journey that no one else can take for us or spare us, I am able to succeed in anything I decide to do. This is the truth, but I must believe it. Now, that is a very interesting interview I just said about Michael Owen. His son, who's 17, has lost his eyesight, has talked wholly about, hey, I've been dealt what he called a bad card, but he's determined to, to succeed in life, and he will. We all have life as a roller coaster okay you've just got to ride it okay and what does roller coasters do it goes up it goes down it goes sideways it spins upside down trading very similar in fact it is almost identical and so one of the things that was very important to me when i wrote this with tom was I said to Tom, you always seem to be very positive. You always seem to be, you don't seem to have any negative emotion. Well, because he lived his life very wealthy, went to Beverly Hills. He met many, many wealthy people. He saw the problems with wealth as well. He saw that, that it can, it, it, money doesn't make you happy. You think it does. But actually, many people he met, with lots of money were very unhappy. So when we were writing this, I said, well, I'll, I'll, I'll write a mission statement. Like, what, 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 what do I think? And he, he said, well, what, what do you think? So it says here, number one, I'm very grateful for everything I have today and gratefully expect more to come. That's a very powerful statement if you make it. I will share the information imparted to me by Tom Williams with my fellow brothers and sisters. I mean that universally, by the way, who seek me or who connect with me. Well, you're connected with me because you're, you're listening. I will make money in the market. This is not I think I will. I will and assist others to do the same. Now, I wrote this years ago. Many years ago. I will excel at trading and will become a hedge fund manager in two years. It took eight years, but it's happened. I will act with integrity, honesty, and fairness in all my dealings with other people. I will achieve my monthly and yearly financial goals. I will always control my own destiny. I will travel the world and teach what I know to others so they too can become financially independent. Well, that's a very important statement because that happened years ago. I went to Malaysia, I went to Singapore, I went to Hong Kong, I went to Jordan, I went to Dubai. I, I, could, I could list the places I've seen. What a blessing. But not the, the places, the people I met were so nice. You know, I remember going to Jordan and when I landed, it was a, like a 16 hour flight from Chicago. We were immediately taken to a feast with 30, 40 maybe people. 
um, and it was the best food I'd ever had. Unfortunately, however, it was breakfast time in America and it was evening time in Jordan and it was a big slice of lamb. <laughs> I'm like, I want eggs on toast, <laughs> but it was a great experience. I've said here, I will connect with other like-minded people who have the same de desires and aspirations that I have. That's happened. With the mentorship courses that I do, I've met some people from all over the world. And indeed, many of the customers that I've taught have become part of our company, including our fund. So having read certain books, which I'll, I'll not be able to talk about today because not enough time, but there's many books that, that, that I've got knowledge of. I've said, what is my mission? Well, you're, you're here for a, a, a time. You don't know if you're going to be here for 100 years, 57 years, 80 years. Well, no, no one, no one can tell you. But you do have a purpose, everyone. Whether you think you don't, you definitely do. Because you interact with other people. And even if you're lonely, there's ways of getting out there and interacting. So I said here, my mission is to live a purposeful, meaningful and enjoyable life and enjoy all I have and graciously seek more of what I want. To love my friends and family, be a good husband, father, brother, son, boss, friend and teacher. To understand, this is very important, that the universe is abundant. And to know that every single person on this earth is important and should be treated as such. To understand and master the universal laws and always connect with a higher power. And know that I can empower myself and others to have a great life. But always remember, and now we come into the trading part, which I think is what you're all here to, to listen to, is bulls make money. Okay? Bears make money. Pigs get slaughtered. Money never sleeps. Remember Alibaba and the 40 thieves. Don't be greedy. What do I mean? Well, the story was told while I was in Malaysia about Alibaba, who was um, a, 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 just a, a person who lived out in, um, I think it was the Middle East, but they, he, he found a cave. And if he said open sesame, the cave opened and it was full of gold and diamonds and silver, everything. And he thought, I've just won the lottery. But then, because he was intelligent, he said, if I go and grab all of this, everyone's going to know I've done it. So I will just take one piece of gold a day from the cave and save it up. And gradually, over a period of a year or two, he, he, he got a bigger house, he got new donkeys, all of these things, right? a, a, a better cart, everything. And his cousin, Kasim looked at this and he could see he's building wealth. He said, how are you earning your money? What are you doing? He said, oh, no, I've got this little secret. He said, well, can you show me? And he said, well, you're my cousin. I'll show you. So he took him up to the cave, open sesame. And Kasim looked at it and went, oh, look at all of that. Look at all of that gold. So that night, when they'd gone back down to the village, Kasim went up with a big truck, a big, like, you know, well, not truck, it was like a cart. And he loaded that thing with gold and diamonds and silver. He thought he'd hit the, he'd hit the jackpot. And as he was going back down the hill, there was 40 thieves. Many of you will know this story. And they heard all this clatter of all this money and all this gold. And they jumped out of the rocks and killed him. The market is like that. If you're greedy and you're not sensible, you'll be killed by the thieves. OK, so the lesson that I would teach you here immediately is patience. And it's very, very important. And it's something I found the most difficult part because Tom said here, the market is devious. And many times you'll buy when the news is really good only to lose your money. 
and then sell when the bad news has come in to see the price rise soon afterwards. And that is because smart money understand crowd behavior and take full advantage of what they call the herd. Tom Williams, beware of the news. Then you have to look at yourself. You have to look in the mirror. And that's a difficult thing to do for many traders because they don't want to say they're not successful. But I can assure you with the traders that I've taught and mentored, they do understand the importance of looking in that mirror and saying, OK, I know why I'm doing that wrong. I know why I didn't shouldn't have taken that trade. And it's an important part of trading and investing. It's not easy because you also look at yourself in life in general and say, well, what am I doing well? And what am I failing at? And sometimes no one wants to look at failure, do they? It, it, it hurts. But in trading, you know, it, it, this is why I do my mentorship courses, because you can identify issues. It's a bit like a doctor, I suppose. I hate to say it. But a lot of the people I've worked with are in the medical prof profession, actually, and pilots. You know, and pilots have checklists. They don't just get into an aircraft and take off. They can have a checklist. Traders don't seem to want to do that. They're too lazy. They go, oh, well, no, I'll just take the I'll press that button and just go on that and click that. You, you, you've got to have a checklist. And I've got a checklist for all of you, as I'll show you. So when you do a SWOT analysis, as I call it, you could look at your strengths. Like what are you good at? Because that's where you're going to make your money. I've got knowledge, skill, and the patience to succeed in the markets, right? I'm able to read the charts and follow the smart money. If I was to lose an account, and I say an account because I've got several, it would not affect my lifestyle. I have the support of my wife in my trading, very important, and we've been married nearly 20 years. I've created multiple income streams through businesses and investments. I believe in myself. I'm grateful for the abilities I have. However, now look in the mirror. What, what, what am I bad at? I can still be impatient and sometimes lose focus. Not today. I'm, I woke up in a very positive frame of mind. I sometimes try to multitask and I'm not good at it, which means trade, trading more than one instrument. I can overtrade. OK, which means you're taking you see so many opportunities, which I can show you. You you, you take more trades than you really need to. Um, you know, I, I, I look at the strength, the opportunities there being financially stable. Um, I've created many opportunities thanks to to Tom and connected with many great people. I mean, many, many, many. Um, but the most important thing here is a, a statement. And it comes from actually a guy called Tony Robbins, which um, not this particular one, but the word massive action does. So I know the universe is abundant and that I can have everything I desire if I believe and take massive action on my thoughts of prosperity and happiness. Now, when you haven't got money, the thing you focus on in the lack. OK, it's, I've, I've done it. But you've got to believe. And threats. I don't see threats in the universe. Einstein never did. So he was right. Um, and then you talk about the goals. Now, I'm going to come on to the trading strategy in a second. Um, I see questions coming in. I'll answer them all. Just give me a second, OK, because I've got, a, I've got loads of them, um, which is great. And, and obviously, we're broadcasting this on YouTube, I think, as well. But personal goals to, to live a purpose-driven life and meet other great people who have the same different desires to have a great relationship with my life uh, with my wife Laura and my children family and all my friends to empower all who connect with me so they truly understand how precious life is and enjoy it trading now this is where we get into the meat on the bones you can make statements in writing 
And before you get there, you're kicked in the teeth. Guaranteed. Okay, you, you say that I want to become the best trader and fund manager in the world, right? So you're going to get knocked down first. Okay. To build an automated VSA trading system that does not rely on human decision making, AI, we're very close. Um, to open and trade an institutional fund, well, that's already done. To improve upon the current version of TradeGuard and build an institutional trading platform, that's already done. To clearly identify VSA principles when markets are being manipulated and post YouTube videos in advance of the move to warn the uninformed traders and investors. I've been doing that for years. And many of you will have seen that and improve on accounts. Of course you want to do that. But what is the strategy now? Let's get into the trading side of things. OK, because that's what you're all here to learn. It's all well and good having a trading plan. You can have a copy of this and adapt it to your own belief system. This is not about Gavin Holmes. This is about you. This is about active trades supporting Trade Guider and Trade to Win. So you can understand things. When you go and think about this webinar at the end of it, you'll have picked up something. I, I don't know what because I can't tell. I'm not sitting in front of you. But when I'm doing live events and I've done many, I can see the individuals that are going to go and make a load of money. And they're going to change. They're going to have to change. And I can see the individuals that just don't listen. You know, there's a great saying, you know, God gave you two ears and one mouth. Why? The ears are for listening. Now, I, I heard that once in, in a seminar and I went, that's a good point. If you spent your time today listening. And you're on YouTube listening. Or, you know, whether it's whatever, however you're hearing this on social media which it will be out there, you will understand without a doubt that if you're failing, you can change in an instant. I mean, I'm talking quick. You can also never change. And there are many people out there right now, traders who are continually losing money. They're wallowing in misery. I've met several of them, you know, only the last few weeks who have come to me and said, I just I'm just not getting this. And yet the markets are making historic highs. Because they're buying the tops and selling the lows. So the trading strategy that we developed, we call it Smart Center Pro, which I, I developed with Grigory Margolin, who's our chief technology officer. It took years and it took a lot of money. But it's a very, very intelligent system, as you'll see. So it says here. What's my trading strategy? We'll wait for trend alignment. OK, very important in at least four time frames. Paying the most attention to the large time frame you're monitoring. Swim with the current. Do not fight the trend of price. A trend goes on a lot longer than one thinks, Tom, Tom Williams told me. So trade with the trend. The trend is your friend. I know that sounds a cliche. But it is. And when we've been working with two Nagapan at Master the Markets, We've been able to identify tops and bottoms in big and small time frames using their system combined with our system. It works particularly well. But again, I'm going to show you a, a trend trade in the USD JPY. OK, so don't worry, just we're, we, no, we're going to go through this and we've got another 40 minutes. And then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Because I'm going to show you it live. I'm not going to do a bloody PowerPoint because I hate them. You know, everyone goes in hindsight and says, oh, look, oh, that happened. We'll, we'll, we'll go and look at it. Always monitor more than one time frame. The market's a fractal. Look for trend alignment in multiple time frames, which is what we developed Smart Center to do. Remember that strength appears on down bars. What's a down bar? It says it. It's defined as VS as a price bar that's closed lower than the close of the previous bar. It's very, very clear. OK, we're not looking at the open. We don't need the open because I said to Tom. Why don't you look at the open? I mean, surely that's really important. He said, well, Gavin, you employ all your people in your exhibition design company. 
Are you interested when they get into the office and make their cup of tea in the morning at 8 a.m.? I said, well, what do you mean? He said, well, have they achieved anything? I said, well, well, no, they're making a cup of tea, they're having their toast. He said, right, but at 5.30 p.m., when everyone's about to leave, can you call them all in and say, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? And I went, oh, I see what you're saying. So you're looking at the effort versus the result. And he went, exactly. Three universal laws that we look at. Supply and demand, cause and effect, effort versus result. You can see the effort in the closing price and the result is the closing price, actually. So the effort is in the price spread. The closing price is the result. Did it close high? Did it close low? Did it close in the middle? Did it have low volume? Did it have high volume? It's very logical. But, um, I, I'm always amazed. I just did the IX Trader Show in November last year. I traded live and I was explaining this to taking live trades. And people say, well, what? but the MACD doesn't say that. Well, the, the, the stochastic would say do that. The complete. If you'd have followed the stochastic or the MACD, you'd have lost money. And some people did. So the volume is the activity. OK, so I say here, always monitor more than one time frame. The markets are fractal. Look for trend alignment. Down bars, I've said here. Wait for your bus to arrive. That was what Tom said. That was his words. If you're waiting for a number 10 bus and a number six arrives, do not get on it. In trading and investing, you're paid to be patient. The most important price bars to identify are price bars where massive volume and narrow spreads appear. They're the best ones, but you can still have wide spreads, by the way. So I'm not going to confuse you because you, you can have both. Note the spread of the bar is the high and low of the bar and should not be confused with the bid ask spread. If the bar closes in the middle, this is incredibly significant. The two signals that we search for in our scanners, which I won't have time to show you today, but I'll do another webinar and show it, is exactly that. We have at the bottom something called a bag holding signal. It's in my book. It's all explained. And at the top, when the market is oversold, we're, 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 we're overbought, rather, where sellers are starting to appear, you get a narrow spread, massive volume, close in the middle. We call it the end of a rising market. And we're about to see it, but not yet. There's still opportunity. On an up bar is defined previously, the next bar should close lower. And if that's uh, end of a rising market, you think about it. If the bar's gone up on massive volume, especially if it's gapped up, closed in the middle, narrow range on the bar, narrow spread on it, whether it's a daily, weekly, or even a one hour, doesn't matter. The next bar then closes lower than that bar, has to be supply overcoming demand has to be but no one recognizes that or many don't especially retail traders because their macd is saying look the volume's gone up the price has jumped oh time to buy you're buying tops or you're at the worst case doing uh, as the market falls you're panicking and you're selling out as the market's about to rally i'll show you exactly how you can avoid it and we've said here it doesn't matter if we're talking about spot forex which we can show today okay but you can't trade that in america i know that but on a down bar the next bar should close higher it's the complete opposite if you took a sign of weakness like the end of a rising market where the market's clearly weak and turn the chart upside down you'd have a sign of strength at the bottom called back holding and we can show this now we're going to go into some detail because that's what everyone's here to see you know you want to know what is the detail well there are a few things that have happened today i, I couldn't choose what happens today in the live market i can only go by what my trading plan tells me but Pay particular attention to SOW. Now, I live in the forest, and as I was driving out today to take my son back to school, we saw SOW, SOWs. 
they're female pigs and they're all over the road <laughs> but that is not what this is it's a sign of weakness now one of the things i saw today was number 58 now we have numbers in smart center pro where we have over 312 indicators now all with explanations now we also have with active trades a what we call trade to win platform which only has six indicators okay and they're all priced differently and it's a bit like someone asked me about pricing earlier in in the webinar i said well if you go to a car dealership and i and i've just gone and had a look at, at a mercedes uh, they go in they say well the, you know we've got this one over here it's twelve thousand pounds it's a, it, it only seats two people <laughs> well, we've got that one over there which seats eight people and that's 200 grand right so, so they both get you from a to b and they both are vehicles but they have massive differences in what they can actually achieve when it comes to you know satellite navigation parking all of that trading software is no different you get what you pay for simple as that and 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 if you want to be successful invest not only in software but in training because that is something you know when you're driving any vehicle you you know if you haven't had a driving test and you haven't had an instructor you're going to crash trading is no different and that's why we've spent a lot of time over the last few months refining our mentorship program because what we know is many people who go through it either go and start their own businesses and and, and become full-time traders or become part of us which has happened and i've just done a webinar on youtube which explains that and you can hear from two americans um who've joined us uh, father and son Okay, so things can happen. So we want to look at what we call trigger numbers. And trigger numbers are very important. They're where the market is positioning itself from the big money and showing us what they're about to do. Think about it. You've got to anticipate a move. You're not always going to get the timing, right? I accept that. But if you see some of the indicators that we follow, you'll understand why. So I'm using what we call Smart Center Pro, which is our professional version, which really does, if you read the manual, no one ever reads the manual. That's the most surprising thing to me. They spend 8,000, 10,000 pounds on this product, right? And, and then they ring up, or put a ticket in and say, oh, I, I, I don't know how to do that. I said, well, have you read the manual? Oh, I didn't even look at it. If you're a Boeing pilot and you don't read the instruction manual, well, you wouldn't even get in the cockpit. Okay. And, and actually, they have a massive manual. I, I saw this from one of my customers who said, yeah, we have a checklist. And if something goes wrong in midair, like a, an engine blows, we just turn to page 89 and it tells us what we've got to do. Trading is no different. Okay, trading isn't life and death, but you have to have the rules. So one of my favorite setups, which I've just seen, is this one. You get an end of a rising market, the trap and a reversal. That's Tom's favorite. Okay. Now, how do I find that thing? Okay, I've, I, it's a, how do I know? I've got we've got scanners that search for it and then send you an email <laughs> believe it or not that they actually send you an email and i'm using active trades mt5 platform at the moment but it works in other platforms i've also got um trading view which doesn't have exactly these but it's very similar and then what happens my, if you've read trading in the shadow of the smart money you'll understand this because when I was at the New York Traders Expo in 2010 in the trading competition, which I actually won, the thing was, I was able to see a test in a rising market. My favorite, favorite indicator to go long. Okay, it's number 30. 
for those of you that got the software and I'm, I'm just going to ask a quick question because i know there's many of you just joined but how many of you here have um the trade guider program um either smart center pro or trade to win just just want to see how many customers we've got here so just type in yes if you've got the software i just think there's going to be a lot but uh, well there we go oh mustafa's here as well hey mustafa yeah Um, Mustafa, if you've got your microphone there, I'll make you an organiser and, and bring you in just to talk to you about your experience, because Mustafa is our representative in Saudi Arabia. OK, and he knows all about active trades and stuff. I'm, 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 you know, as we're going through this, we've got a bit of time. OK, we're not we're not we're not stressed for time. Let me get through my trading plan and then I'll, I'll introduce you to Mustafa. Um, we did a webinar with with Mustafa last week. It's be, become incredibly popular on on YouTube. Um, but we can talk about trading plans because I mentored Mustafa, and Mustafa became an investor in 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 the Trade Guider business. Um, but he's a, a very I've never met him. Okay, just to be clear, but we've met virtually online, um, and I consider him to be a good friend. And I'm going to go to Saudi Arabia, as I mentioned um to to to, to do uh, an event with mustafa but but one of the things that mustafa and i talked about when we first did the mentorship course was the importance of understanding okay the the, the plan and and i and i think that'd be a really because because mustafa was a customer who's become an investor and become part of our business so that that would be good and, and it, he's in the room now looking at the currencies okay that i like to look at OK, and I'll, 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 I'll show you the charts shortly. But some of the best trades I've had are in the JPY USD. OK, that that seems to work for me because I stay up late at night when the Aussie market and the um, Australasian markets are open and, and we get some really good moves. OK, but these are the main currencies. The GBP USD, obviously. No, no one's going to argue with that. It's a very strong currency, as is the Aussie. But these suit me because when my children have gone to bed, well, they're at boarding school now, so it doesn't matter. Um, I can look at those. But of course, I also started my career trading in the futures markets. And we have seen massive moves in, in the E-mini S&P, the, the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ. I don't trade the Russell anymore i used to too volatile for me i i trade the s p mainly and then my speciality i suppose is is what i'm known for is is trading gold and oil um and we've just with mustafa we did a a, a, a big webinar on that and then i've i've listed some of the stocks this goes back years but i haven't changed this because i've added i've got so many to show you but you know, some of the greatest stocks are the banking stocks, right? They always seem to move. But I'm going to show you how we can get alerts. OK, and then finally, um, let me just see if Mustafa's in here and then we can we can have a quick chat with him. Um, OK, so what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll make Mustafa an organiser here and he can come in. Um, there should be no problem with that. And um, I can see loads more people joining on. OK, Mustafa, I just made you uh, an organiser. So you should be able to switch your mic on and say hello to everyone. Hi, everybody. Hi, Given. Can you yeah. hear me? Hey, Mustafa, welcome to you. Um, thanks for, for coming in. Um, so obviously you've been listening in. Um, we've known each other since 2006, I believe it is. Um, we're, talk, we're talking about trading plans here. Um, now you're, you're based out of Saudi Arabia, and we've we've opened an office with you at, out there. Can you can you, in your own words, explain the importance of having some sort of plan uh, like this, that we, which we're going through right now? I'm going through the detailed plan, but there's there's obviously everyone's going to get a copy of this. Why is it so important to have it? And you've been very successful. I mean, you and I. 
looked when we were doing our mentorship course at uh, um, both Egyptian stocks and Saudi Arabian stocks. But you've nailed some of these stocks when they were being accumulated. You can't. Let me just be clear. You can't short in Saudi Arabia. You can't sell. So you've got to buy. Right. So you're not looking for sell signals, but you're looking to either get out when there's a sell indicator if you're long, but but you can't short. Right. So how important is it to have some sort of plan? Okay, uh, as you mentioned uh, earlier on this presentation, that the plan is one of the most important things on the life, not only for trading. And uh, you gave uh, a good example for the aircraft. So the plan is one of the most important things that you start with it. First of all, you have to set your plan, what is your target, and what you are going to do. Uh, on the life even, I'm an electrical engineer, so uh, on uh, my, my work, if I would like to start constructing any project, starting by the plans, starting by drawings, and then you give it to the contractor to implement it. If you don't have the plans, which means that you left the contractor to do whatever, and of course, you will have the mistakes. This is uh, in a brief uh, given. Yeah, and you're right. I, let's have a quick look at this part of the plan because we're now going to talk about the core strategies, which we're now going to show on charts. Now, I've said here on every chart, look initially for a Yao Ming bar on the highest time frame. Now, I, I, I love this analogy and I've never met Yao Ming, but hopefully one day I will. He's seven foot six. He's one of the tallest human beings on the planet. And yeah. if you stood next to Yao Ming, it'd, it'd say Mustafa and I, I don't know how tall Mustafa is, but I'm six foot two, right? But if I stood next to Yao Ming, he's seven foot six. So he, he's going to dwarf, I'm going to, you know, he's going to look at me and go, you're a dwarf because he's tall. And if my daughter stood next to me, um, now I have to say, when I did film a video about this years ago, my daughter was a three foot. She's now nearly six foot tall. <laughs> so I can't use her as an analogy. Uh, but it, it shows you that you, you're, you're comparing the size of a price bar uh, and in volume I'm talking about now, the volume bar, you're yeah. comparing as I'm about to show you. And then I begin, once I see that initial boom, Yao Ming just jumped into the ring. I then start counting and the software does this as well. Now you're going to say, why 25 bars? Why not 21? Why not 32? Of course, everyone wants an exact mathematical formula, but I just watched the movie Oppenheimer. I don't know if any of you've seen this movie. Okay. But, they had to develop or he did develop what we call the the atom bomb and did he get it right the first time no did he get it right the second time no <laughs> did he get it right the third so what you end up with is you end up with testing something well we tested this with tom and we came to the conclusion between us and indeed gregory agreed that 25 bars is a good way to start looking for a setup in any time frame, and I'll prove it. Okay, if you're going to go short because you see ultra high volume on an up move, look for no demand bars for confirmation as the market falls, especially powerful. It, and, and this is what happened in the yen if the no demand and up thrust are at the same price level as the bar that you've just seen. Now, think about the logic. This again, I, I, I'd have to stress this seem to me to be the most confusing part of understanding volume spread analysis you see a massive volume move to the upside and then tom said well wait because what you want it to do is go back up to that area where it closed but on low volume which shows no interest from smart money and then you've got your trade setup and that's what i teach and it and Mustafa and I, we, we looked at some of the trades to the long side, actually, which is the complete opposite. So we were looking at um, 
quite a few um, Saudi Arabian stocks where they've been marked down. The news wasn't good, but we, 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 we saw back holding. And then you're looking for the opposite. You're looking for the market to start to rally up and then pull back on low volume. And Mustafa's become an expert at it. And, you know, I've seen the trades he's taken. Now, ultimately, they're all based on logic. They're not based on a stochastic or a candlestick or anything like that. They're based on there's the footprint. It, it, right, right, Mustafa? Because that's what we did. We, we, we actually yeah. looked. Yeah, we, we looked last year in the mentorship course at several stocks, and you said, well, this, I bought it here, and it's going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but 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 people don't believe it because they say no, you because everything was bad when you buy these things. You can't buy something. This is Warren Buffett. I quote: "You can't buy something that's popular and do well." So what you were doing, which I think you know, when we were doing the course together, was. You were saying, well, look, the, the, the news is bad, but look at this, Gavin. There's a bag holding, right? I, I said, do you believe it? Do you believe that signal? And, of course, the question mark then comes, well, wait. And you did over a period of weeks. And you say, I'm looking for the, the, the test. And it tested. And up it went. And, and, and this is not in one stop. There's several. Now, I'll, I'll just explain this to, to you all. So these are the strategies. OK, and I want to get to the charts because we're, we're, we're into an hour here. We haven't lost anyone. I mean, this is a, a very big. Um, obviously, it's being broadcast on YouTube as well, I think. But we look for multiple time frame analysis. Now, here is the ones I use. And you're all going to get a copy of this. So, you know, don't don't worry. You'll you'll all get this trading plan. And it's very easy to get hold of it. Now, the most important thing is to look at multiple time frames. Now, why do we look at multiple time frames? Because the market is fractal. I've said that in this pre presentation. It doesn't move in one hour increments. It doesn't move in one day increments. It moves in tick increments which, which we can analyze and as we see here i'm looking at you know the different time frames my favorite is is the stocks which is what mustafa and i um look at and you know really we look at monthly weekly daily more than anything else um because i would say mustafa is more of an investor than than, than you know intraday but but we still look at those and then we have what we call the trend clusters, which many of you are aware of. And then we have the key things to look at, like key support and resistance levels, which are which are based in Smart Center Pro. I like to work with the weekly chart for long term directional trades, but then you can, as I'm going to show you, you can use smaller time frames. And these are what we call sequential trade setups explained in my second book which you can get okay we, we can give you a copy you of it visitor. just email my wife laura l-a-u-r-a at tradeguider.com will send you that book it explains all of these and how they appear okay and we can see all of these are very specific there's no it, it, it's like a pilot and, and mustafa was saying quite there you know uh, as an engineer i have to give the correct instructions okay to, to the person i'm giving if i if i am ambiguous then the, 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 something will go wrong right so so these are very specific all right and then i'm going to fi finish on this uh, before i get to the chart on money management which is a very key part of what mustafa and i um, when we were doing our course together, we talk, <laughs> talked about this. The staff is very good at this. But I follow a rule. And I say a rule, it's a series of rules. And, and they work. So I don't want to risk more than 2.5% of capital of any account that I'm trading in any one trade. I'll not risk more than 6% of my capital. 
in multiple trades. That's the maximum. And that's rare. I will close a losing trade quickly and, tr and, and treat it as a, a, a cost of doing business in the market. Never take a, a loss personally. Don't worry about it. You're going to lose money, right? You're not going to make every winning trade. I wish you, I could tell you you would. Buy my product and you'll make money every trade. I'm sorry, that's a lie. You won't. You will make losing trades, but I'll teach you how to manage them. Don't get angry if a trade goes against you because it will do. It happens. Um, you learn from it. If you suddenly are trading during the intraday session, whatever, however you're trading, and you make three losing trades, stop. Relook. Never revenge trade. Don't go back at the market and say, well, you'll because what you're doing is getting angry. It won't work. Allow a winning position to run. And I use something called something I can't show you here, but I will be doing it in the mentorship course, which is called a chandelier stop, which is a trade trading stop, basically. Um, my personal trading, and I'm not talking about anyone else here, is to get the stop to break even and let it run and not have a profit target, which many people want to, to know. They say, well, what's your profit target? Well, I don't particularly care. OK, and then I will use a two to one risk reward ratio. And then at the end of the week, evaluate the trades. And final thoughts, and I'm sure Mustafa would echo these as well. Most people get interested in stocks when everyone else is. The time to get interested is when no one else is. You can't buy what's popular to do well. I've already stated that, Warren Buffett. In which it is shown that if you scrap traditional approaches to the market and attack the financial conspiracy, which they call it, with its own weapons, you can beat the stock exchange insiders at their own game. The story is told that after he'd been deported to Italy, infamous New York City gangster Lucky Luciano was granted an interview in which he described a visit to the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. When the operations of floor specialists had been explained to him, he said a terrible thing happened. I realised I joined the wrong mob. True statement. And I've actually got that statement in the book here next to me. Dow drops a thousand points in minutes. And all the stops are caught, but most stocks do the same thing. And it's all blamed on a fat finger futures trader trading the CME future, the EMA futures with 16 billion contracts. Maria Bartiromo, which is widely known, stated she's never seen this. This sounds like market manipulation to me. And then finally, in 2010, it, I, I'd written a book about this is when I wrote my book, actually, that everyday investors wonder if markets are being rigged. So I will not get sucked into buying market tops and selling at market bottoms because I know the intrinsic relationship between the imbalances of supply and demand and the footprints left by smart money. I know the game on Wall Street and will win it. Every time I trade or invest, fail to plan, plan to fail. Hence this webinar. I will follow my plan and adapt the plan as necessary to current market conditions. A plan is work in progress, just like living life. So I'll treat each new trading session as a new opportunity. And then Tom finally wrote these final words before he passed. I will look for any key VSA principles that show me that a market is undergoing heavy accumulation or distribution by professional money. I will trade any market where a strong VSA principle has appeared and that they have appeared today. The strongest principles, we call them principles. You can call them signals. You call them what you want. OK, but we use the word principles are to short the end of a rising market on ultra high volume, narrow spread into fresh high ground, which means it's gone up and there's no price action to the left for at least 25 bars. Or no demand into that same area. And I'm going to show you all this. So don't worry, we've, we've still got time. The up thrust into prior resistance, followed by no demand. And to go long, this is Mustafa's favorite setup. Mustafa, tell, tell me why you like bag holding so much in your market, because it's an interesting signal. And we talked about it many times and you've identified it on several stocks. And, you've, and I know you use our scanners. 
what why why is it such a powerful signal okay for an investor as for me because i'm uh, still working uh, i don't have a time to analyze all, all the markets so i'm looking for both two signals which shows me on my market as you said a couple of minutes that our market's only going long no short so it means that I have the opportunity to find the signals for buying, which is the bag holding and hold for a certain time, and then for the end of the rising to exit the market. So this is the best solution for me. And uh, it works. And it is not for a scalping, it's for an investors. And uh, at least I'm getting from the two signals, as you know, uh, 30 to 40% when I'm holding that stocks. Yeah, well, well we, we, we know that. And it's interesting that you can only buy, you can't really sell. But the interesting thing is, looking at the Middle Eastern markets, and certainly in Malaysia, it's the same. Um, the great thing about the VSA system is it will tell you when to get out if you're long. Right? So if you bought something, uh, you want to you want to you want to sell it at a profit right so you then have a signal called end of a rising market and you go oh, hold on a second this is there's something wrong here it looks like it's going to fall and so you can make a decision do i take some of my trade off do i close the trade completely it, it so, so for those of you listening um to this youtube video which you will be and you're in the middle east or you're in areas where you can only buy the importance of VSA is it will identify when there's a turning point and the SMI indicator which is um, been developed by um, Tiru at Master the Markets does the same thing now here's the final bit before we get to the, the charts so we've still got a, about 20 minutes left so a selling climax is like bag holding right it, it, it's what happens when we call it a climactic bar it's basically very high volume and it means that something's going on something something is happening something is it, it, it uh, you know if you you had a garden like i've got a lovely garden i live in a, a farmhouse in the forest and an elephant walked across your front yard and it's grass it, it, it's going to leave a footprint right because it's a very big elephant well smart money do the same thing they leave the footprint Tom used to say to me, he said, he used to call me Gav. Gav, he said, they've just sent you a telegram. <laughs> they, who are they? Well, we, we don't care if it's JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, whatever. They just sent you a telegram. They're moving. Doesn't matter. It, people always ask me that question. Who? Who? Don't worry about who, because you're never going to know. OK, and, and to be honest with you, it doesn't matter. What you're looking for is an opportunity to, to make some money in the market, but be on the right side of the trade and not lose and believe in it. So what, I, what Tom said to me, and this is a great closing point before we get to the charts, is I immediately close a trade if it starts going against me, maybe because I got in too early. I never, ever saw that happen. But he, he told me, he taught me that. He always used a stop loss, as do I. I will stay in a trade until an opposing principle, right, uh, that will stop the trend I am in. Do you know how many people get out of a trade far too early? I can teach you how not to do that and how to use a scaling trade stop so that you never actually, you know, it, you could be in a trade, uh, as I have been in several, for months because you, you've protected your profit. You're not going to lose money. And, let, and again, I say, you're never going to lose money. You can get gaps and so all sorts of weird stuff going on or a black swan events. So I can't say categorically you could never lose money, but ultimately you're protected as best you can be. I don't ever get emotional about my trading, said Tom. I know I'm not 100% right, I remember this. I've got this on a recording, but he said, but I'm very close. 
and he said that on a webinar once. Uh, he said, look, I'm not 100%, because someone said, you, you always write, he said, not 100%, but I'm very close. He meant that sincerely, because he was genuinely very, very accurate with his analysis. I enjoy helping other traders, investors to learn the 30 years of knowledge that I, I've gained. Well, I'm heading for that direction. And so is Mustafa. And so is all the other people that we work with. And many people have got a lot of experience here. And we're willing to share it, which is why we're here. All the principles that you can see on a chart in hindsight will be there in foresight. So believe in VSA, volume spread analysis, which is the Wyckoff method we teach. And you will not go wrong. Mr. Stafford, would you agree with that statement? Sure, given. That's um, exactly what we teach. Now, let me um, go to the other computer. So bear with me. And I'm just looking at the questions here. Right. So Mustafa's just said, you, you, you've translated my trading plan into Arabic, right? Yeah. OK. It's ready. Perfect. OK. So what, what we'll do, I'm just going to put up this screen. And this is the trade of the... And this is the Euro JPY, and we've also got, okay, so I'm just going to try and find the, the chart. Okay, and just let me know if you can see my screen, Musafa. This is um, the trap up move that I was talking about earlier. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Okay, I want to explain this finally to all of you as, as to what's going on. Okay, and what, what, why, why this market is is looking particularly weak at the moment. Um, you've got I've got these alerts that have come in, and I, I actually you've got the scanners, which I'm going to show you in a minute, which actually alerted me to this. Now, if you don't believe volume is important, first of all, look at the volume on that bar. Okay, and we've got this histogram we call it a histogram which is i'm using mt5 but i've got this in other pro programs as well uh i've got my scanners up i haven't got time to show the scan but if you want a one-to-one -one demo with me to show you this then you can email laura at tradeguider.com and i can connect with you and, and show you this live but and i'm happy to do so by the way because i've got a, a week off um from the fund so this this next few days and following i'm doing mentorship courses um i will I, I i've got quite a lot of questions coming in I'll, I'll, I'll answer them in a minute but this is very important when we when we look at a, a chart like this right you've got many traders at the top there that are buying on that bar as it's breaking out to the old top at the left right so so they're going long but you can see what I can see, this is live. This is not a PowerPoint. Let me be clear. The alert that you see, there's several alerts actually that came in about this. Now, this is going to go down the toilet. But, but we know this, that it's not widely known in the trading community because 90% of retail traders, apparently, and especially in Europe, are losing money because they're, they're looking at the uptrend and the breakout. I'm saying here that the behavior in this market has changed. It's changed behavior. What does that mean? Well, I worked very closely with a guy called David Weiss. Some of you will have heard of him. Some of you won't have heard of him. He's passed away now again. Unfortunately, we lost some of the great masters like Hank Pruden, David Weiss, you know, and Tom. But they passed on their knowledge. And what I 
have written about in Trading in the Shadow of the Smart Money, and what I teach is the mushrooming over at the top. Now, this is Smart Center Pro. This is the professional version. It has, this is not trade to win. This is trade, this is this is the expensive program, the Rolls Royce, the Bentley, funny enough. Just down the road from me here, there's a Bentley dealership. Um, and I, I, you know, I, I, I did actually go and have a look at a, a Bentley. I'm not actually sure I would ever want one. <laughs> They're rather expensive, but, but they do the same thing as any as a Mercedes would. But, but, but the point is, this is an interesting chart in its own right because I talked about the trap up move earlier, and now you're watching it live, and you're watching a trading plan in action. And you're watching why volume is, you can clearly see it, that's effort versus result. Okay, so you, the effort is to break out of the old top, encourage the buyers to come in, which they did, and then kill them, which they've done. You don't have to be a herd trader. Now, I just want to define that before we go forward. When Tom wrote his first book called The Undeclared Secrets That Drive the Stock Market, he described herd mentality. What did he mean? What, what did he actually mean? Well, he describes what a group would do under certain circumstances. In the markets, it definitely is true. And he gave me an, an analogy, which I'll share with you. And he said, well, look, you're in a cinema, you're watching a film, and suddenly someone shouts out fire, and you start to smell smoke, and there's a fire exit right at the bottom corner of the cinema. What are you going to do? What do herds do? They rush to that exit because they want to get the hell out they don't want to get burned the financial markets are no particularly different and, and that and, and that is quite interesting because what happens is you you if you shout on the market fire and and people say trap up move now look right there's an old top it's trying to break out but look at the volume on these two bars but then this is the conundrum i hate to say it but it is you've suddenly got here a no demand bar right you've got low volume into the area that i've just told you about in my trading plan if you have this knowledge tom said to me you have it with you for the rest of your life that's it you will understand why markets move the way they do you will understand why you get caught out unnecessarily you will understand why a plan is important you will understand why something like this going on and i could show you multiple charts i haven't got time why these type of bars are very important as part of my mentorship program that i'm I, i'm doing i'm going to be teaching people to trade live in the markets i'm not going to be doing it on powerpoints it's it's, it's live trading I, I know several of you have already signed up we will do it and mustafa's been through it the the, the process is, is fairly straightforward it's not complicated but it takes a change in opinion or attitude if you've been using something that's just you look at your account and go well oh, i'm just not making it it can be changed that i can guarantee but what i can't guarantee is that you as an individual are going to suddenly miraculously make millions you're not at all money you're not you're not going to do it it'll take a little bit of time it'll take what richard nay put on his number plate of his rolls royce W-A-K-E, space U-K. 
P. And I'm assuming you can all see the screen here, by the way, because that's some some of you said you couldn't see the screen, but that that is it. And the most important part about all of this is understanding the principle of the trap, the collapse, and then you can go down to different time frames. These are all the alerts, by the way, that are coming in. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to another screen now and show you where these alerts are coming from. So, again, I'm just going to ask when you can see my my other screen. So just bear with me. Okay, so you just tell me when you can see my screen. Just give me a second. All right, so that should work now. Right, can it, can everyone see my screen? You should you should all be able to see a scanner screen that I'm using right now. And just let me all know if you can see this before I carry on, because this is this this bit is the most important part of the presentation. OK, Mustafa says, yeah, OK. OK, good. All right. Thanks, Jeff. OK, fine. So basically what, what, what we've got here is. Um, I, I, I could go, I could do futures, I could do stocks, but what's actually going on here is we've programmed in what you might call artificial intelligence, which I suppose in, 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 I don't like to define the word AI because it can mean anything. I mean, there's so many different versions of what AI actually is, but what this is doing is probably as close to AI as we're going to get. It, it's scanning multiple charts. We've got stocks, we've got futures, we've got Forex, and we've got multiple different instruments that we can scan. And I can show anyone this. If, if someone wants to get a demo, I'd happily show you how it works. But it's a piece of software that, that's developed by our chief technology officer, Grigory. And what it's doing is calculating in the background right? Multiple time frames. So it's doing all the work for you. So you don't have to do the work. Then it's giving you what the setup is, including, and this is something that I don't always use, but a, pro a projected profit target, um, a suggested stop loss. But this is all, again, we call it suggested. It doesn't mean you have to take it and you shouldn't. But it, for me, I adapt it to the trading plan I've just showed you. And, and that works for me because what you're ending up with here is a scanner that can scan multiple markets. Now we're working with active trades today, so they do CFDs, they, they do, do foreign exchange, Forex. Um, so, you, so you can start to see here, you've seen some of the trades here, but you can start to go down and you can see all of the different things that have come up just in the last few minutes okay just just literally in the last few minutes so someone said to me can you scalp forex well, of course you can absolutely you can scalp forex if you want to do that not my cup of tea i think i, I like longer term trades now just going back to this other trade i'm just gonna I'm just going to go back to this because what we've got here 
is now becoming quite interesting. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to 15 minute chart. All right. So I'm going to do a 15 minute time frame. I'm just going to finish this session based on what we're seeing and why narrow spread up bars followed by traps will allow you to make money in forex futures stocks doesn't matter okay look here the market's gone up but look at the volume narrow spread closing in the middle next bar closes lower that has to be no demand doesn't it but you can read the dialogue box i can show you this it works every time but you see that isn't the clue that's just the warning this is a clue the upthrust I said it in my trading plan. You're watching it live. No demand, downtrend, up thrust. It, it it couldn't be it couldn't be clearer. Believe. Because these indicators appear all the time. They're not one hit wonders. They happen all the time. And, you know, when I'm doing a webinar, I don't use PowerPoints. Most of the people I've been watching doing educational webinars go back and they, they, they cherry pick. I don't do that. It's either you believe in your system or you don't. And I have to total congratulations to Tiru Nagapan yesterday who did a big event with ninja trader had thousands of views already and we talked after the event about the volume spread analysis indicators and the vsa indicators now i'm at the moment as i said if you want to go and find out and i'm getting too many questions so i can't answer all of them but let me just go back Okay, and what I'm going to do, uh, I'll just answer the questions that I've got. So uh, still loads of people joining. I don't know how that is, but anyway. So if you want to get a copy of the trading plan that I've just shared, okay, then you can just go here. Um, that's the website it's uh, trade to win.com forward slash forex f-o-r-e-x okay and this is a joint um page with active trades and um and with trade guider now all you need to do if you haven't already done it but you can if you're in the database it'll probably just send it to you is enter your email and enter your your your, your first name in there um and then just click on email link and you'll get a copy of that plan that i've just shown you all right and that's the same plan that that, that i've been through with mustafa and with other um traders it it, it you can see that it, that it clearly works because we can see it live and then if you want to do mentorship and a couple of you have already emailed in then what you need to do is go to the web page. Now, what I'll do is put that up. Now, the best, if you, I think the best thing is for you to come and talk to me first, but this is what the mentorship page is all about. Um, but it, we, we can do a, a special, yeah, John, I can do you a, a deal because you're a, a special customer. Yeah, I can do that. Just email laura at tradeguider.com and I'll put the link in here. So there it is. That's the details. And I've got spaces. I'm full for January. So we're completely done. But in February, there's five slots still left. So if you if you are interested and you want to do live trading with me, 
um, and members of our team because we do bring other people in and um, we, we can and that that's that's Laura's email you just basically email Laura at tradeguider.com and just type in the word mentor in there And put that in the headline so she can see it because she's getting loads of emails and then we'll 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 contact you and if you want to have a quick consultation with me beforehand no problem happy to do it because ultimately i i feel that a lot of the people that i've taught including M mustafa have become part of our team um and mustafa i'll leave you with a uh, with, with the final words i mean you 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 met i think well we sort of um have been connected since 2006 i'm going to be coming out to saudi saudi arabia um why do you think it's so important for traders and investors in fact to learn from someone who knows what they're doing because that to me seems to be something that a lot of the people that are working in our fund have done Okay, the answer is uh, so easy given because the familiar people like uh, you or the others who is now investors or uh, a good trader, they are going to give the traders the conclusions and will show him, as you said, that either within an examples or going live. So the best practice is to learn and ask. And I believe for me, as my experience, when I read is different than when I'm applying something from people who have an experience. Yeah, it's a bit like playing sport, isn't it? You, you can you can watch a football yeah. match. If you're playing a football match, then you're in it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. OK, any any questions from anyone, from Mustafa or myself? Um, we, we're, we're just about time we said an hour and a half so we're, we're doing pretty well um any questions from anyone and and again you've you've got laura's details and if you're in the middle east um uh, what's your email address mustafa if, if someone in the middle east wants to talk to you mustafa at tradeguider.com okay so uh, yeah and, and M -E let's it, okay. it, it, M, M for mike u for uniform S for Sierra, T for Tango, A for Alpha, F for Foxtrot, A for Alpha, a space, and then it's Mustafa, so that's it, at tradeguider.com. And you, and if you're in the Middle East listening to this, you want to talk to someone who knows what they're doing, uh, who's been through the whole process since 2006, Mustafa will help you. Okay. One more thing, if I'm not uh, uh, interrupting you, uh, given. Uh, also, if anybody would like a special market, he is always welcome. Any market? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter because 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 um, volume spread analysis works in all markets. Yeah, and if you want exactly. to talk to me, yeah, if you want to have a chat with me about one-to-one -one mentorship and stuff, then you can just email my wife Laura. Happily do that. And um, yeah, been a been a great session. Um, I want to. Just finish off by thanking Mustafa for, for coming in and contributing, which is great. I want to thank Active Trades and um, Vikesh and the whole team there who, who've, who always do a good job. Uh, I hope that you've seen that actually we're here to help you. But most importantly, you know, I, I believe that the, the way to success, in my opinion, is to teach someone how to trade based on their personal um requirements it, 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 it you do a a group course with you know 100 people and, and i've done that but everyone's different you know it's like a leaf on a tree everyone's different but if you do it properly one-to-one -one, and you say what do you want what do you want to achieve how can i help that works and i'm very interested in this personally because as, as mustafa who's now part of our team I realized that the more you do it, you build up a network of very, very clever people around the world in all different countries who all want to help each other and they all network. And, you know, don't get me wrong. Some people don't succeed. I accept that. But, but many do. And when they do, 
they they build up that network and it's a very powerful thing that that, that happens and then yeah it's it, it it's a great thing to do so anyway on behalf of everyone at trade guide i just want to say um thank you very much indeed mustafa and thank you very much all of you for listening in today we will get this up on youtube well we'll upload it um we'll put it out there and to all of you as i always say may your god bless you and namaste and be safe and good trading thank you very much bye-bye